Hello, I'm Patrick Holper. Welcome to an introduction to economic growth. In macroeconomics, there are two big questions. Why are some countries rich while others are poor? And why do all economists experience recessions or business cycles? Of these two questions, the first one is the most important. If we could answer that question, we could help billions of people around the world. That's exactly what two economists had in mind when they wrote, economic growth is the part of macroeconomics that really matter. Robert Lucas, who won the Nobel Prize in Economics, asked the following question. Is there some action a government of India could take that would lead the Indian economy to grow like Indonesia's or Egypt's? If so, what exactly? If not, what is it about the nature of India that makes it so? Unfortunately, there is no simple answer to the question asked by Lucas. There is no simple explanation for why some countries are rich while others are poor. This is true despite the fact that the field of economics have been exploring this very question for over 250 years, at least since the publication of Adam Smith, The Wealth of Nations, in 1776. We do know many things, however, and what we can offer is a framework for how to think about this important question, and that's what we will be exploring. The first thing we need to figure out, though, is how to measure economic growth or the standard of living. How do we know if one country is rich or poor? This is actually also a difficult question. But people who study economic development usually focus on three things. The levels of income, health, and education. In this course, we focus on income. When we think about income or the wealth of a nation, we usually think about gross domestic product or GDP. GDP can increase for two reasons. Either the quantity of goods and services produced by an economy or country can increase, or the level of prices can increase. Now, an increase in the price level or inflation is not really good for welfare, so what we'd like to do is subtract out or adjust for inflation, and therefore we'll be looking at real GDP. When we think about the welfare of an individual, we need to divide real GDP by the population. So now we're looking at real GDP per capita or per person. So, when we think about economic growth, we are focusing on real GDP per capita. Okay, so why are some countries rich while others are poor? Surprisingly, there is a simple answer. Productivity. Productivity is the quantity of goods and services produced in an hour of a worker's time. Using that definition, the answer becomes Highly productive countries are rich, countries with low productivity are poor. This is not a real answer or an explanation for why some countries are rich while others are poor, because it begs the follow-up question. Why are some countries productive while others are unproductive? This is what we're going to be pursuing next. However, I would like you to think about this question right now. So, why do you think that some countries are productive while others are unproductive? 